Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my fellow poppers. This is Pop Central 22. Popping back on your screen with another one. Oh, let me say, I know, like, I've been MIA again. Um, you know, of course, school, I'm working two jobs. Um, my spring break just ended, but I didn't get... I didn't really get a spring break because I was working. And also too, last weekend, I actually went to Denver to visit one of my best friends because I haven't seen her since November of last year. So um, it was nice to get away for a little while and um, spend time with her. But you know, back to reality, um, next week, classes start up again. And again, I'll be working both my jobs. Um, enough talk about life. Um, so let's talk Funko Pops. So even though my life has been like roller coaster, um, I still, you know, found time to, you know, get some Funko Pops. So earlier this month, I did go to Hot Topic and let me show you what I actually got. So there is not one, but two Funko Pops in there. So, Ugh, okay. So um, I'll just show you what I got at Hot Topic. So the first thing I got was, of course, this. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a pin from the movie It. So um, the pin, it says the Losers Club on it. It's actually Bill's bike, silver, and then, of course, a red balloon on it. And I just thought it was really, really cool. So that's the first thing I got at Hot Topic. Um, the second thing I got was actually... A Hey Arnold lanyard. I actually had my eye on this for a while and I actually finally got it. So of course this is Arnold on it. Hashtag babe. And the picture of Arnold um, is actually like the one that Helga carries around with her. You know when she takes it out and she starts like, um, what is it, um, monologuing. So I thought that was cool. And of course, right here, Arnold, if you guys can see. And then of course, um, some of the Nicktoons from Nickelodeon. Um, of course, um, Chucky from Rugrats, Arnold, um, Otto from Rocket Power, Cat Dog, El Eliza from The Wild Thornberries, Tommy from Rugrats, Gerald, and of course, other ones on here, if you can see. I thought I only had two Funko Pops, but I actually have three. So let's see which ones they are. I had my eye on this Funko Pop for a while and I finally got it. I'm talking about the one and only Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I'm a big Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan. Um, I've seen all the episodes, but I don't have all the box sets. So I do have, of course, season two, which is my personal favorite. I have... Season four. Season five. Season six. Season seven. And of course, the first season of Angel. So I still need to complete my um, DVD collection. And also, people ask me, Angel or Spike? Um, there's some reasons why I like Angel, then there's some reasons why I like Spike. At first, I was like, yeah, I like Angel, but then when Spike came into the pitch, I was like, oh, Spike's kind of cool, too. Yeah, it's like the same thing, too, when people ask me, oh, Stefan or Damon? There's some things I like about Stefan and some things I like about Damon. on um, The Salvatore Brothers from The Vampire Diaries, it's just hard for me to think. I, I love them all. But again, this is Buffy. Ooh, ooh. I do need to get the other ones. I think the next one I want to get for sure is Dark Willow. Because um, Willow is actually my second favorite character from the um, TV show. And I do want to, of course, get like um, the older ones like Angel and Spike. But um, first, like, you know, I, I, I do want to um, complete this set. And this is actually in honor of 20 years of slaying. Get it? Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Okay, so that's this one. And the next Funko Pop I got, of course, 
this one from Jurassic Park and I do want to get like the chase one as well and also the other ones from this line of course this one's honored the 25th anniversary of Jurassic Park and I did like the remake I think the second part too um, the remake comes out later this year so this guy and of course um, last but not least oh man See, this one wants to get out of the box. It's kind of open. See, see, I'm not lying right here. Okay, I'll tell you about this one. Aww. Okay. And actually, too, um, um, with these two guys, the Hot Topic I went to, they didn't have any of these, like, on display. I asked the guy, and they actually, um, these were, like, he only had, um, this one and this one left, and he got them from the back for me, so, um, shout out to him. Thank you. And I do want to get, of course, the other ones from um, the Jurassic Park line. Um, again, back to that chase. It would be really cool to get that one. But at least I got these ones. Like, you know, the dinosaurs. So now I need to get, of course, like the human characters. So, yeah. It's these guys. If you can see. So that's what I got from um, Hot Topic earlier this month. Um, also, too, while I was in Denver, I actually picked up a Funko Pop. And um, during that time, the Hercules Funko Pops just came out. And um, I did want to get Hercules and Pegasus, but um, they only had two boxes left, and they were both damaged. And I asked, and they didn't have any in the back. And I should have just got it in any way, but uh, I regret that. I really do. So the hunt for that one is still on. But I did get Meg. Um, she is my favorite character from the um, Hercules movie. So I'm going to do a review on her as well. And also um, try to do a review on my, the other ones that I got to the other Funko Pops. So Meg, all the way from Denver, Colorado, from one of the malls over there. And um, let me just say, um, overall, like um, Denver is really, really, really nice over there. Um, I liked it a lot. And um, okay... And um, also, too, like, Meg, like, I don't know if she didn't survive, like, the drive back, but she kind of has a little crease, and I think that was my bad because I should have secured her better in the car. But you can't really notice unless you really, really look at her. So, again, Meg. And also, too, after I came back from Denver, I picked up a Funko Pop. And, of course, I'm talking about Maleficent. I'll do a review on this pop as well. So here she is. Super happy. I'm just going back to Denver real quick. Um, last year, I did go to Denver towards the end of August. So it was before I started my YouTube channel. And um, as a belated birthday gift, my friend did um, get me the um, Annabelle Funko Pop. Went to the mall over there and she bought this for me. So uh, I haven't done a review on this one, but I'll probably do it maybe like on a throwback Thursday kind of thing. This one is special to me um, personally because it was a gift from her. And um, also, too, um, the other Funko Pops I do have, I actually um, got them. And I, I don't really get Funko Pops as gifts. So this one's special. Of course, it's for my best friend. It's all the way from Denver as well. So just a little fun fact there. So um, that's everything. That was like a, a quick update. Um, I know I've been slacking it, you know, being MIA. But I'm trying. I'm trying really, really hard here. But um, give this video a thumbs up. Um, share, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. No, but thank you guys for still like watching. I really, really, really do appreciate it. You know, we're, we're still here. We're still popping. <laughs> um, I also have an Instagram too. You can follow me at popcentral22. There I post pictures of pops that I review and other pops that I get. And again, this is popcentral22. Popping off your screen until the next one. And as always, keep it popping. Bye, guys.